Wow. 34 solos and five group performances. Also impressive. Agree? Uh, is that all? I start missing the show already. Hey, Irene, I'm sure every one of us share the same feeling as you do, but no worries, I'm going to bring you all a very good news. What's that? Please tell me more. The best finale of the day is on its way. Now I would like to bring on stage a very important person behind the scene, and that's Yukiko, the teacher of all performers today. All right, Yukiko Fujikage. She started playing violin when she was only two years old. And when she was 10, she played as soloist with the Nagoya Philharmonic Orchestra. Her first recital was at Tokyo in the year 1995. And then she followed with numerous performances worldwide in Japan, Canada, Italy, France, Spain, and Portugal. I see. A very important step that Yukiko took was in 2004, she decided to stay in Hong Kong. When she admitted students and playing um, violin and also teaching violin, conducting the classes for them using the Suzuki method combined with the Ito method. Today, she's got a full house of students, not to mention the long waiting list. The key of Yukiko's teaching principle is to share the joy of music and let both children and parents appreciate good music and become spiritually happy. I'm sure with all the happy and enjoyable performers today, I'm sure every one of you will agree that Yukiko's teaching principle stands. By the way, Yukiko and Ronald are having a recital on the May 31st, and you can get a copy of the leaflet right outside at the reception desk, so don't miss it. Okay, let's join our big hands to welcome Yukiko Huchikake. She's now playing for us La Boss Flute by Chrysla. Thank you, Yukiko.
Kiko, I don't think anyone would let you leave the stage like now. <laughs> do we want do do we want an ankle? Ankle, ankle.